Hi, this is Paul Thompson with CitizenVoice.tv. We're at the Air Space Museum uh, right outside of COP21, and we just listened to James Hansen and three other incredible scientists talking about nuclear as part of the mix. And the moderator is with us here, Kirsty Guggen. Can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about why you're here? Hi, thanks. Yeah, well, I'm really, really honored to have just done this press conference with, you know, four of the most famous and highly regarded climate scientists in the world, really. So my name is uh, Kirsty Gogan, and I'm, I'm the director of a new environmental NGO called Energy for Humanity. And we were created to try to help solve two of the really big challenges that we face this, this century. Firstly, yeah, reducing our carbon emissions dramatically over, you know, within our own lifetimes and the lifetimes of our children in order to avoid catastrophic climate change. But then secondly, and really importantly, um, meeting the demand for electricity especially, but the demand for energy throughout the world where currently three billion people in the world lack enough access to electricity. And this has severe health consequences and prosperity consequences. So that's why we exist. Were, were you a part of collecting the scientists and inviting them to how did they get to all get together uh, on this stage? Yeah, well, we were really, really thrilled um, to hear that Jim uh, Hansen, Dr. Jim Hansen, had decided to come to COP. This is his first COP. Um, and so we asked him if he would be willing to do a press conference with uh, his, his three colleagues, Kerry Emanuel and Tom Wigley and Ken Caldera, um, to, to really issue a call for, um, to rise for an energy policy that will rise above uh, ideology and prejudice and focus on a rational climate strategy because you know to date for the last 20 years of climate negotiations nuclear has been excluded it's been totally locked out in the Bonn agreement in 2001 um, nuclear was locked out of the climate uh, negotiations which means that it couldn't um, uh, it, the emissions from reduced from nuclear wouldn't count and it's completely crazy um, so we wanted to shine a light on that issue and you know i think that this cop is different i think we are seeing the promise of a technology neutral deal because ultimately you know as ken caldera says the climate doesn't care you know if the energy is renewable or if it's abundant nuclear it cares about carbon emissions and that's what we should be focusing on so these these four scientists that they agreed to come and do this press conference and I got to organize it. <laughs> well, congratulations. To get Jim Hansen to come to his first COP is a big deal. He's on our advisory board and is a big proponent of our carbon fee and dividend. And it was educational for me to hear the other three scientists. So what do you hope to will come out of this? And then what are your plans now that you've created this wonderful gathering? Well, I think we have we have two two things that we're hoping to see. First of all, we we want to see a technology neutral deal. So I really hope that the that the policy makers and the senior dec decision makers and the negotiators that are here at COP will take on board these these really important points that have been made today by these very eminent climate scientists. You know, they said to me. Um, uh, well, it, it never occurred to me to come to a COP before because, you know, I'm a climate scientist and this is for the politicians. So <laughs> it's maybe that's the problem. So I really hope that the, these policymakers will listen to the scientists. And then secondly, you know, I, I really hope that we'll have the opportunity to reach out to the environmental community um, really with a plea to say, let's put our differences to one side and let's focus on really solving this problem because the timescales are so urgent and the scale of the challenge is so big that if we exclude one of these really important sources of electricity generation we're increasing the chance that we'll fail and that isn't what we need right now we need to pull everything together so we will work with you and we will publish your video uh, on our website would you like to give your website so people listening can get that thank you that's I would love to work with you and you know I think we should try to grow this movement so I will do whatever I can to support your work and um, yeah my website is uh, energyforhumanity.org very simple 
Yes, well, we are thrilled to meet, and thank you so much. Signing off from uh, the Airspace Museum. Bye.